Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video and give your opinion at the comment section below. Now, is Raila Amolo Odinga going to win this battle of expelling these ODM rebels? That is the question. As the reports are just in, that the true the judiciary, it seems like the ODM rebels are being reinstated as members of ODM party. As this is something that happened the other day, where the neck of ODM party, after a wider consultation and investigation, they came out expelling the ODM rebels. And this was Jalamo, Elisha Odiambo, Karoli Omondi, Gideon Ochanda, and Tom Ojena. They are five. As we speak now, one of these members of parliament, Elisha Odiambo, rushed to the court after he was expelled by the ODM party through the leadership of Raila Amolo Odinga, reseeking his reinstatement as the member of ODM party. But now, despite of that, Elisha Odiambo through the court, saying that Elisha Odiambo was not investigated and he was not summoned. That is whatever we are being told. That now, it is a sin for ODM party to come out to expel those members who are misconducting themselves as they believe that there is a constitution of party, there is ideologies and agendas, and by the way, they are not buying the agendas of Azimio and ODM as we speak now. So the captured court has come out to temporarily stop the orange democratic movement, movement ODM from expelling Tom Ojenda, the senator of Kisumu, Elisha Odiambo of Game Constituency, Jalango, Langata Constituency. But now, as this is now the behavior that we are seeing when it comes to our political party, was it a right thing for Raila Mulu Dinga with their political party to come out and investigate these ODM rebels, then at, at the end, they came out expelling these members of parliament. Was it what for these members of parliament who are rebellious to be expelled from the party? Because according to me, when you look at the reason why Raila Dinga is expelling these people, they misconducted themselves. Going to state house is not any issue because even the other day, Karonzo Bisoka was the instators. But what Raylo Dinga is trying to look at is that, for example, let us speak the truth. Jalano is claiming that he is going to state house. He is going to state house because of the development. And the reason why he's going in state house is that it is because of dev development. Not even that that is enough. Jalamo is being spotted in William Ruto's secret meetings. If Leo Jalanga Ngesema, and Mimi Nilienda state house kusobabu ya maindi Leo. Then after that, William Ruto alikuwa na mkutano langata na alikuwa na launch nini? the housing project. So, kama mimi, ni member of parliament wa hiyo area, lazima ningekuwa hapo. That is not a sin. It is not a sin, ladies and gentlemen. Jalango alienda maendeleo kwa state house. Tick. Number two, when William Ruto went to launch house project in Langata, Jalango was there. Tick. There's no problem there. But Jalango is going even to meetings of William Ruto, some even in Narok, some even in Mount Kenya region. I'm not saying that it is a sin. But now, 
He is associating and having secrets with the Kenya Kwanza Brigado. It means he doesn't trust his political party when it comes to the direction that they are going to. It is that now he has decided that I'm going to support William Ruto as my party leader, not as the president. Because if you're saying that you're supporting William Ruto because you want development, no problem, because even William Ruto is working with other governors who are as mule. But these governors are not attending meetings of William Ruto. It is because when William Ruto is in Kisi, Simbarati must be there because of the issues of development. And also there must be a kind of partnership in between the county government and the national government. Maybe there are certain issues of de development that are being raised there. The same to members of parliament. If I'm a president is in your area and you're liking to be there, come umependa tu. Unaezaenda. Because the issue in entail your area. No problem there. It doesn't mean that you're going to join William Ruto. But Jalamo and other brigados are so, so extreme that now they have went ahead even some secret PG meetings of UDA. Nearly spot Jalamo. Jalamo alikuwa kwa meetings. So I think even despite of court coming out to temporarily stop the Orange Democratic Movement ODM from expelling Tomo Jena, Elisho Diambo, and Jalango, after they have rushed to court, I think it is not fair. We are having a judiciary that must come out to be so concerned with the truth, with the truth, and this is something that you want pure truth, nothing that, less than that. Because if members of parliament, they cannot respect the ideology of their party, they cannot respect the constitution of their party. How will these people collaborate? How will they work? How will they work? You just assume today that Raila, wewe skiza tu, Raila alienda kufungua market, kapsaret, alikaribishwa. Aenda fungue market, or aenda launch kitu fulani, kapsaret. Untaku niyeme sudi yatakuwa hapo. Sudi will not be there. See it in personal, see personal. Sudi will not be there because he understands his political realignment. Awezi. And that is why they are telling Jalango and his team that look, what you're doing is not good. You people you are elected under ODM party, what you should do, you must buy the agenda and ideology of the party. You must respect the constitution of ODM party that has been reinstated and also uh, preserved in the office of the political of the register of political parties so if you are coming out now to defend yourself does it mean that now this court is going to defend you even wakati hao watu takunyima ticket odm hawatawapea ticket if the same as uda uda itafika mahali hata candidates wengine hawezi pay ticket i'm telling you it will be now a scramble it will be a scramble upon a scramble and that is why even despite of them coming out to protect themselves, seeing that they, they, they were not um, that they were not summoned. They were summoned. So it will be a relief for Kisumu Senator Tomo Jeda, MP Elisho Diambo of Ken, Felix Jalango Duo, Langata, after court issues temporary orders barring ODM from expelling them pending hearing of a case File. And the strategy there is to maintain this case yende lena yende for long, for long, for long. But this is not going to save them. I'm telling you. This is not going to save Jalam. This is not going to save Elisha Diyam. This is not going to save Tomo Jena. I want to kick out. They are going to continue kicking them out. No? Wataka tuko sababu wa chaguliwa anda ODM party. Then after that, kwani tumimaliza election na kuna election ingizi zingine. These people are going to face the consequence. And the consequence is, these people might not appear again in the politics of Nyanza. Some of them will not. I'm telling you the truth. And if you're doubting that, you just wait. Watafagilewa, you just wait. Some areas who is mama without ODM. Wachana Jalang. You never know Nairobi County, I don't know. But this pure law constituency. Leaders, you will see the fire, ladies and gentlemen.
What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.